Thank you. Be very, very pleased to see the church today. You know, mom and anybody work with her, she was awfully good at giving corrections. <laughs> uh, I did on occasion call her the director. In the uh, little booklet where she had listed her scriptures and music, and there's also a note that it would be nice if we could all find something to say about her. <laughs> <laughs> It's been said that every time a person dies, another library is burned down. Mm. Well, Mom certainly developed a rather extensive library of stories, memories, experiences, and advice over her 97 years. We've heard about her growing up in Farmington and attending Bethel Church while working in Uniontown and dating Dad. Later, we all remember our family vacations camping in West Virginia. You can imagine a woman packing up enough provisions for seven people for four or five days, cooking on a one burner propane stove, getting water from the river to heat to wash the dishes, only to start all over again the next day and the next day. We ate like kings and we all had a wonderful time, but as I look back, I wonder, did she really think of it as a vacation? <laughs> Yet she did it year after year and with a smile. Hospitality was certainly one of her strong points, whether it's birthday party, New Year's celebration, <coughs> church activities, she was always quick to host or to help out. And I don't think there was ever a pastor or a missionary that came to Warden Furnace that wasn't invited to a house for dinner somewhere along the way. In later years, as we would sit around the table and hearing stories telling stories that were part of that library, we'd get to laughing about one thing or another. Next thing you know, mom's laughing so hard she's heading off to the bathroom, <laughs> which made her laugh even more. I think her sense of humor is one of her contributing factors to her longevity and her ability to laugh, whether it was at Tim Conway and the old Carol Burnett reruns or at herself, especially when she would realize some of the crazy things she would say or do. <laughs> like when we were cutting down the weeping willow tree in the front yard, she asked Dad to leave about three feet of the stump there so that we could build a table on it and sit out under the shade tree and have a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> the other contributing factor, I think, was her continual sense of wonderment willingness to learn and see something new. Somebody said, Jesse, would you like to go? Usually her coat was on before she found out where they were going. <laughs> if she wasn't moving and doing something productive, then it was a waste of a day. When she found out at the age of 85 that it was either a knee replacement or take pain medication for the rest of her life, she said, well, let's get it done because I've got too many things to do. <laughs> Once in Virginia, Susan and Kevin continually found things for her to see and do, and she would tell me all about it and how much she enjoyed it. When it came time for physical therapy after a hospital stay, I've seen far too many people who simply refused to do it and are content to sit. But not mom, it amazed us how she would push through and continue to do what was asked, not necessarily happy about it, but always willing to do it and especially if it was Steve, her physical therapist, who asked her. <laughs> yes, the library may have burned down on May 29th, but many of the stories and the wisdom that are contained in it will continue to live on in the four of us and in all of us who are gathered here today. One last little story. Um, many of you know I have an old hearse and belong to a uh, to a club that is just antique funeral vehicles. So a couple of years ago I went and uh, I was awarded funeral director's choice. All the funeral directors in the club get to pick which hearse they would like most to drive home and park in their garage and they selected mine. I was <coughs> quite honored and pleased with it. And of course I told mom what all had happened. Later on, 
somebody overheard her telling somebody about it and said that uh, so it was selected man of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody corrected her. <laughs>